Hey everybody, welcome to episode 11 of Event Update Live on NS Live TV, Nova Scotia's online community TV channel. I'm Brian Cottom, your host, producer, everything. <laughs> It's a one-man show here, but that's okay, because it's, like I said, this is community TV, and we're all about community. It doesn't have to be big productions, but we certainly can do that. Now, events are a big part of our communities here in Nova Scotia, and there are lots of events that happen in this province. So as a community TV producer, we love to promote events and cover events, live stream events, all those things. We want to bring events to the forefront online in Nova Scotia because we're trying to revitalize community TV here in this province. So I've decided to start this show. You know, this is episode 11 and we've done, uh, try to do it every week. I think I did miss one week and I apologize for that, but circumstances happen. So we're trying to bring attention to the events in this province, and like I said, there's lots of them. Uh, social media is a big part of what we do. So I go onto Facebook. We have a Facebook event page on our NS Live TV channel, and uh, let me bring that up for you here. Here we are. Let me scroll down a little bit. So we'll go to this one. There we go. I have this one all queued up for you. There we are. So this is our event page on NS Live TV, on social media, on Facebook. Of course, we have our video showing a number of events in this video. I, I can't remember how many we've been to. We've been to quite a few events over the years, and we just love uh, promoting them and filming them and talking to the people that are there, uh, bringing the talented people and the participants to the forefront in our, in our videos. That's what we do. So... Let me uh, let me get to our event page. That's actually our main page, but that's okay too. We can go to our main page. Not a problem there. Same video runs on both. Now we are going to talk about events starting today and going uh, for a week's time. And the first one here, let me take a look, September 14th. I believe that is this weekend. Yes, paint the hydrostone. That sounds totally awesome going to open that in a link here so we can take a look at their Facebook page and here it comes and this is something you can do yourself um, everything is linked together and connected as you'll see here on on these Facebook pages uh, paint the hydrosome 2019 is brought to you by 14 bells fine art gallery as you can see here and if you just leave your cursor over their link they show up and you can click on them and find out more information about them and Brigadoon Village we all know about Brigadoon, great uh, nonprofit organization there. So that's September 14th and 15th. There's two dates this weekend uh, happening, looks like 10 o'clock. And on Sunday, Saturday, 10 o'clock, Sunday at 12 o'clock at the 14 Bells Fine Art Gallery on Young Street in Nova Scotia, Halifax, Nova Scotia, capital city. <laughs> There's a little more information it's going to take place on Saturday, blah, blah, blah. The Plan Air Painting event is organized by the 14 Bells Gallery, as we mentioned, in support of Brigadoon Village, our friendly Hydrostone Hyd neighbor. Of course, the Hydrostone is an area of Halifax that was rebuilt after the Halifax explosion. Quite familiar with that area. I, I just love it there, especially that Young Street corner. That's a beautiful spot. I just love it there. Any houses for sale there? Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Last year, we uh, they raised close to $1,000 for the great work they do at Brigadoon Village. So congratulations to them. And maybe you can go check it out. September 14th and 15th, paint the hydrostone. Moving down now, the Oyster Festival, that's later. So we'll talk about that in another show. Here we are. This week's events. <clears throat> the 2019 Halifax Chinese Festival. Here we go. Let me give you a little better view here. There. Halifax Chinese Festival, September 13th, starting at 5 o'clock, and September 15th at 2. I think it runs right through from the, the 13th to the 15th. 
Love this little Seymour button here. See that, Seymour? Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> so lots of food, culture, um, music, crafts, games, and more will be happening at the 2018 Chinese Festival. It's a, usually a huge success. Of course, this is the, uh, the second festival because the first one was such a great success. A vibrant celebration of Chinese arts, culture, and traditions will burst onto the Halifax scene September 13th to 15th. I love how they write that. That's awesome stuff. Now, it's a free event. Admission is free. Come on down. You don't have to pay anything. It's a three-day event, like I said. And, uh, yeah, feature a range of Chinese cultural presentations, performances, and games, including traditional Chinese music, <gasps> featuring renowned musicians from the local Chinese community. Wow, this sounds fabulous. I think, you know, I'm going to have to check this out myself. Hopefully, uh, you'll come out and check it out, too. Halifax Chinese Festival. You don't have to be Chinese to go. And who cares anyways? Uh, I might go. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see you there. There we are. So that's the Halifax Chinese Festival this weekend, September 14th, which is Saturday. We have an annual community-wide yard sale. Let's find that here for you. Hosted by the community of Handsport. So head over to Handsport this Saturday for the community-wide yard sale. Here's the details. Not a whole lot mentioned there, but, uh, you know, we all know what a yard sale is, right? We're Nova Scotians. We know what that is. <laughs> I don't have to explain that to you. <laughs> yeah, so find some treasures. Pretty simple. So if you can't, don't know where Handsport is, I know where it is. You can easily find it because see this link? This link right here? Community of Handsport. You can click on that and uh, there'll be a map. You can find out exactly where Handsport is. Real simple. That's what I like about this integration with social media. It makes life simple and handy. Annual Lawrencetown yard sale. Another yard sale. Imagine that. A yard sale in Nova Scotia. Never happens. <laughs> Every weekend, folks, there's always a yard sale somewhere. Now, do I have that one here? Here we are. Lawrencetown Community Yard Sale. Saturday, September 14th. 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tables are $10. All the information's here. Again, I don't have to explain to you what a yard sale is. We're Nova Scotians. We know there'll be a barbecue, 50-50, loads of uh, great vendors. And there's an email and phone number to book your space. There we go. Head over to Lawrencetown. In the Lawrencetown Community Center. Practically everything. Village Market. Let me find that one. Here we are. Here's their page. I preloaded these to make the, the show move on a little quicker because there's tons to talk about on this show. There's tons and tons of events this weekend. Yeah, so practically everything vintage market. Do, 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 do. It's their first annual outdoor vintage market. So this is a new event, a new event here, and uh, it's held in Enfield. It'll be located at a private residence at 449 Highway Number 2 in the heart of the community. So, let's see what they're going to showcase down here, because they have a few things. A vintage, antique, architectural, salvage, repurposed, reclaimed, local artisans and wood signs. All kinds of stuff here. This is cool. Let's see more. There we go. Follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Free admission. I like the word free. Free admission. So, there we go. Practically everything Vintage Market. And it's host, that's who it's hosted by, practically everything Vintage Market. And again, you can find out more information right there on that link. All right, so back to the main event page. The Honey Harvest Festival. There we are, okay. So here we are, the Honey Harvest Festival, hosted by the Avon River Heritage Society, I believe it is. Avon River Heritage, and again, there's their information. Go sneeze. Okay, so uh, of course that's in Windsor. We all know that. This is a great little place. Held the second Saturday in September, the Honey Harvest Festival is intended to promote and support local beekeepers and businesses while educating the public around beekeeping practices and products. You, you don't realize how many products can be made from bees and the, the honey and the wax and all that stuff. So this would be cool to check out and see all the things they can make with that product. Uh, so again, there's more information here. There's a phone number and email down the bottom here from the Honey Harvest Festival Coordinator. 
so you can check that out. I'll let you do that yourself. And you should also click on this link, the honey, uh, the honey. Yeah, that's right. The Avon River Heritage. Click on that. They do all kinds of great stuff. Lots of events coming from them out in Windsor. And uh, yeah, so keep an eye on them. Check, click that link right there. Where are we? Oh, the, here we are. Of course, one of my favorites, the Halifax Dartmouth Color Festival 2019. Have I got it? There we are. Now this year, it's going to be on at the Alderney Landing on Octoloney Street in Dartmouth. And it's Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's a festival I absolutely love. Been there a couple times. We've filmed it a couple times. One of these years, we're going to live stream it for you so everybody can watch it live because it's really cool. And it's a great thing for multiculturalism. I can barely say that today. Multiculturalism here in Nova Scotia. More information. Free event. For everyone. Now, I do believe you have to purchase uh, color packs. Yeah, so there's a, a pricing there and purchasing six color pouches. And there's an all-in $25 comes with five color pouches. White event t-shirt and event sunglasses. Ooh, sunglasses. Yeah. And they are non-toxic, so you don't, don't worry about these colors. They're very non-toxic, um, biodegradable. Lots of vibrant colors, and believe me, they are vibrant. <laughs> the camera loves them. I call it camera fodder when you're filming this because it's just all the colors are amazing. Yeah, so you check that out. Great event. Great event. Absolutely love it. Check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Go and see it. Halifax Color Festival. So I found this uh, vendor's fair. See, I search these things out. I look for these events uh, you know, week from week to do this show and to find them for you so uh, to help you out. So you can know what you'd want to go to. So it's a vendor's fair, September 14th. Boom, it's right there. The South Shore Exhibition Grounds. I believe that's uh, just outside of Bridgewater, of course. Yeah, 50 Exhibition Drive, Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. Do, 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 do. And there's the details. Not much, but, you know, pretty straightforward. Local vendors will be on site with items for your shopping pleasure. It's not too early to shop for Christmas. I said it. Sorry. I said it low. I said it really quietly, but I did say it. Okay. But I was just reading what's written here. It's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you who think it's too early to say that. Yeah. So check that out. September 14th. That's this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. $1 admission. A loony. You know, that's that's doable. And there's information on, you know, finding more details. There we go. Vendor's Fair. Cat Fest. <laughs> I've been hearing some interesting things on the Cat Fest. September 14th and 15th. That's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I do believe. There's the time, September 14th at 10 uh, and at 4 p.m. on the 15th at the Museum of Natural History on Summer Street in, in Halifax. <clears throat> So here's some more information. 300 felines. Four Paws Veterinary Hospital and Host Calls. Bide a Wild Shelter. <clears throat> the Boardroom Game Cafe and the Cake Lady. Oh, I love the Cake Lady. Who doesn't? <laughs> see more. Boom. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Look at all these. Lots to see there. I, I can't read all these to you right now. You can do that yourself. Because this is easy to find. You can just go to our event page and find it. Or you can just search CatFest on Facebook and you'll find it. Like I said, at the Museum of Natural History. So that sounds quite interesting this weekend. September 14th and 15th. There we go. CatFest. Ooh. See how that comes up? That's pretty neat. It's a drop over. You put your mouse on it and it, draw, it pops up. Yeah, it's a pop-up. Hero Day. Pop up. There we go. I thought this was neat. Let's let's go see Hero Day. Of course, it's uh, <clears throat> hosted by the Atlantic Splash Adventure Park on the Hammonds Plains Road, Lucasville. Well, it's, no, it's Lucasville Road in Hammonds Plains. Let me get that right. I go by it quite often. So, hopefully, they get the road construction finished there. There has been quite a bit of road construction out there. I got to admit, <laughs> I think they're running new water lines, mainly because of the uh, Splash Park, which uh, has really been renovated and, and built upon. So they need a little more water. 
So hopefully they'll be, they'll be done that. I haven't been out there in a couple weeks. So yeah, so uh, you want to get up close and personal with fire trucks, ambulances, and police cars. Here is your chance. They have some interactive displays, giveaways for the kids, and a chance to see behind the scenes of what's like to be a hero in our community. That's our first responders, and we love them. Thank you. Hero Day. Maritime Stomp Music Festival. Here we go. There it is. Vintage 2019. Yost Vineyards. And that is where it's being held. Yost Vineyards. And that's Malagash, Nova Scotia. The address is right there. 48 Vintage Lane. In Malagash. Let's find the details right here. There is some great names. Oh, I already had that open. There we go. I mean, including Bruce Guthrow, who I'm a big fan of. Dave Gunning, awesome. J.P. Cormier, these, you know, these are all top Nova Scotia talents. The Lumberjills, Rankin McGinnis Band, you know. So this is going to be an, uh, amazing. So I, I love to see these uh, these wineries do events like these, hold them there, host them, and put them on, and bring you some of the you know music like this because this is amazing. And uh, I guess it's the fifth year of this festival. And like they say, it is a star-studded lineup. Awesome. Maritime Stomp Music Festival. You might even be able to drink some wine there. I don't know. Just just have this feeling you, you might be able to do that. <laughs> North by Night Market, September 14th. Boom, there it is. <clears throat> Hosted by the North End Business Association. Bring up their information there. Go down to the details, see what's going on here. See more. Let's wrap up the summer in a big way with a Godigan, Godig, Godigan, Godigan, say it right, Godigan Streetwide Block Party, DJs, food trucks, local artists, artisans, in-store pop-up specials, and all-around good time. That's my home turf, Godigan Street. Yeah, and... Part of it turned into Novali. I was on the Novali side. So, yeah, this is my home turf. This should be really fun, really nice to check out. North by Night Market, September 14th. Going to be lots of things to do there. As I mentioned, down in, just reading a little bit here. But you can do that. You can find out more information. It looks like it's going to be a great event. All kinds of things to do and see at the North by Market. That's September 14th. This Saturday, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the evening. All right, next one, Fire and Water Festival. I'm a little hot and cold over this one. I <laughs> get it, Fire and no, okay. And that's hosted by Alderney Landing, and I believe that's probably where it's going to be held. Yep, Saturday, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., Alderney Landing, 2 Walk to Lonely Street in Dartmouth. Details. The third annual Fire and Water Festival. Join us for an amazing, amazing cultural and artistic festival, including fire circles, a pyrotechnic show on the waterfront, and loads of music and art activities. There, there's the uh, event features or the fire circles or um, yeah, everything that's happening is all. It's all right here. It's all right here. Grand finale is 9:45. At the Cultural Finale Boardwalk, 10 p.m. is a pyro show over sculptures. So, lots to see and do in Dartmouth on September 14th, Fire and Water Festival. Sounds good to me. Just don't mix the two at the same time. Okay, just... You can, I guess. You can try. Godigan Uptown Festival. We're back to Godigan Street again. I love it. My home turf. Cool. Hosted by the Gottingen Festival, North End Business Association again, September 14th, Saturday from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Is this part of the other festival, I'm wondering? <clears throat> no, I think it's a, a different thing. Yeah. Gottingen uh, Street Uptown Festival, Heartbeats and Rhythms, celebrating a great diversity and the legacy of the neighborhood through music, food, my favorite, art and dance. Multiple uh, sites along Gottingen will be uh, animated with... Music vendors, food trucks, and activities. Hey, cool. More stuff going on Godigan Street this Saturday. I love it. I love it. So get out. So there's no excuse to not get out to see something this weekend because there's so much going on. The Uptown Festival. Switch 
Halifax. With what? No, I'm sorry. Couldn't help it. Somebody had to do it. So it's Open Street Sundays. So, what's this about? Hmm, let's go down to the details and find out. Switch Halifax is happening on Saturday, September 15th from noon to 4 p.m. on Agricola Street, Argyle Street, and Spring Garden Road. Join us for a wonderful afternoon of free fun for all ages, live music, art demonstrations, activities, and more. All participation is welcome. If interested, please contact, and there's an email for you to contact. Schedule a performance. So I guess it's something that you can get, you know, I mean, people in the community like myself who play music could possibly participate in this. So check that email out. Give them a call if you'd like to maybe uh, get involved and play some music or do whatever you do. If you're a, a busker of any type, you know, they might be interested in uh, having you perform at this festival. I like that. It's, um, you know, Open Street Sundays. Good idea. Who came up with this? Great idea. Hosted by Switch. That's probably who came up with it. Let's find more about Switch. Well, you can right there. Just click on that link and you'll find out more about them. So way to go, Switch. I like that. And September 21st, that is beyond this show. Yeah. Yeah, the 21st. I do believe. That'll be next week. We'll talk about this wellness summit and all these things you see coming up here. And I'll probably find some more events between now and then. So check out our event page. Yeah. On NS Live TV. On Facebook. No, that's just me searching for events there. Yeah. This is where you want to be to check out events. There. Bring that back. The whole page there. There we go. Yeah, so these are all on here, but you can do your own searching. It's real easy to search for events on Facebook. It is real easy. And uh, if you have time, check out Eventbrite too, because they also host a lot of uh, a lot of events here in the province, and you can re- refine your search to uh, find the events in your area. Yeah. Let's get back to our main shot here. There we go. It's just me now. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed the show this week, and hopefully you'll find an event that you'd like to go out and check out. And maybe, maybe, if we're lucky, we might see you at an event. Hopefully. Yeah. So until then, remember, we can uh, cover, come and cover your events and film them and live stream. You know, produce them as community TV productions, which has a whole long line of things that uh, help promote your event. So consider us when you need to promote an event. It's definitely something that we're thinking about. Anyhow, I got to run. This is uh, this is Brian for episode eleven of Event Update Live on NS Live TV, your online community TV channel for Nova Scotia. Catch you next time. Be safe and have fun at these events. Okay, roll the credits.